Hey guys, this is Tim taking over American Eye for the day. Make sure to check us out if you enjoyed this video. Volcanoes can be beautiful and mesmerizing, catastrophic and terrifying, and we're here to tell you a bit about the lather kind. Here you'll find some of the most cataclysmic and destructive volcanic eruptions known to humankind, as well as learn a bit about their history and just what it was that made them so powerful. We now present you craziest volcanic events in history. Number 10, Mount Pinatubo. This active volcano can be found in the Philippines at the tri-point boundary of the provinces of Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zimbales in Luzon. Before 1991, when pre-eruption activities began occurring, not much was known about the volcano, including its eruptive history. Most didn't even realize that it was a volcano, and it was densely blanketed in trees, and it appeared mostly inconspicuous. Then, on June 15, 1991, explosivity index occurred, and it was the second biggest and baddest terrestrial eruption in all of the 20th century. Number 9. Mount St. Helens you may remember this crazy stratovolcano erupting back in 1980. It lies just 96 miles south Seattle, Washington, and a mere 50 miles northeast of Portland, Oregon. The most famous and most recent eruption, the one in 1980, took the lives of 57 people, including a volcanologist named David A. Johnson. It caused immense damage to surrounding areas, with a debris avalanche that was, and still is, the largest in history, and a pyroclastic flow that took out everything in its path for 230 square miles. A gigantic ash column grew to a height of 12 miles, and it did so in less than 10 minutes, and it threw tephra up into the atmosphere for more than 10 hours. High winds in the area carried a lot of ash, and by noon, Spokane, Washington, which is more than 300 miles away, was plunged into total darkness. In total, 11 states saw ash from Mount St. Helens fall to the ground, and the effects were felt for years afterward. Number eight, Nova Repta. Nova Repta is in Alaska and was formed during the largest eruption of the entire 20th century, way back in 1912. It started on June 6, and multiple eruptions occurred, lasting around 60 hours in total, and it birthed more than 30 times as much as ash did, as did Mount St. Helens, into the atmosphere. This resulted in an accumulation of about 2.6 cubic miles of pyroclastic ash flow, tuff, and around 4.1 cubic miles of airflow tuff. Volcanic tuff is the type of rock that is created from ash, being pushed out of a volcano. When compacted, a lava dome made of rhyolite plugged the vent of the erupting volcano, and it formed the dome that is now referred to as Nova Repta today. Surprisingly, nobody lost their lives in the eruption. Krakatoa. This caldera is located between the islands of Sumatra and Java in the Sunda Strait in Lampung. There are also four islands that are called the Krakatoa Archipelago. Rakata is part of a sustainably larger island that was destroyed during the famed 1883 eruption. Two of the other islands, Burlatin and Lang, were once part of a volcanic edifice destroyed a long time before the eruption in 1883. Between August 26th and 27th in 1883, a series of enormous explosions rocked Krakatoa. As far as volcanic events go, it is often referred to as one of the most violent in history. Compared to the detonation of the most powerful nuclear bomb ever created, known as Sar Bomba, the eruption had four times the nuclear yield. That equates to around 200 megatons of TNT, which produced an ejection of six cubic miles worth of rock. And it was heard on Rodriguez, an island in the Indian Ocean, 2,970 miles away. Close to Krakatoa, some 165 towns and villages were utterly devastated, and another 132 were damaged almost beyond repair. Number six, Mount Tambora. Mount Tambora received a 7 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, unambiguously confirmed volcanic event to receive a 7 since 180 AD. It can be found in what is Indonesia today. It was the Dutch East Indies when it popped its top. On Simbawa, an island, before the 1815 eruption, the volcano was dormant for centuries, but activity inside picked up in 1812, when rumbling began being felt and it produced dark clouds. The volcano erupted on April 5th, and repeated detonation sounds were heard many hundreds of miles away. These detonation sounds grew faint and lasted through April 10th, but on the 11th, the eruptions intensified yet again, turning the entire mountain into one giant mass of liquid fire. All sides of the mountain experienced pyroclastic flows, which took out the village of Tambora, and a caldera measuring 3.7 to 4.3 miles in diameter, and 2,000 to 2,300 feet deep was created. It's been estimated that 9.8 cubic miles of pyroclastic tracheindesite was ejected and caused global temperatures to drop 0.95 degrees Fahrenheit in 1816. Number five, 
Laka Dijar. This volcanic feature is found in the southern part of Iceland, close to a village called Kirkjubejark Loster, and near another volcanic fissure known as Elja. The system erupted continuously and violently and oozed some 3.4 cubic miles worth of balsamic lava and pumped out massive clouds of sulfur dioxide and hydrofluoric acid. 20 villages were destroyed by the flowing lava and the toxic compounds ejected and directly led to 25% of the island's inhabitants' demise, as it caused a famine. The 120 million tons of toxic sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere into the northern hemisphere also caused a drop in global temperatures and possibly caused droughts in Africa and North America, as well as crop failures across Europe. Number 4. Mount Vesuvius Vesuvius is arguably the most famous volcano on Earth. It towers above Campania, Italy, and is just 5.6 miles east of Naples. It is only one volcano in the Campanian volcanic area and is a volcanic cone. It is encircled partly by the rim of a caldera that was caused by the collapse of Mount Soma, which was a much larger and higher structure. Vesuvius grew out of Mount Soma, and it has erupted many, many times in ancient history and recent times, although one of those eruptions stands out among the rest. The eruption in AD 79 is probably the most famous and devastating eruption to occur in human history. Gases, ash, and stones were blown out of the volcano to a height of 21 miles and produced around 100,000 times as much thermal energy as the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Pyroclastic surges overtook and buried the city of Herculaneum in 75 feet of Tephra, and Pompeii was buried under almost 39 feet. More than 1,000 people lost their lives in the eruption and roughly 1,044 casts were made from impressions of bodies found in ash deposits. Number three, Thera. This eruption is called many things. The Minoan eruption of Thera, Thera eruption, Late Bronze Age eruption, and Santorini eruption. This major event is thought to have had a volcanic explosivity index of either six or seven, and it's believed to have happened sometime between 1642 and 1540 BC. It was a massive eruption that completely devastated the island, then known as Thera, which is now called Santorini. In 2006, it was found that the volume of materials released from the volcano, its dense rock equivalent, was about 24 cubic miles. That means that it kicked out about four times more material than Krakatoa. On Santorini, there is a layer of white tephra that measures 200 feet thick. And in some places, you can see the exact level of the ground before Thera erupted. This eruption was an ultra, and the column of debris breached the stratosphere when it shot between 19 and 22 miles into the sky. It also spawned tsunami waves that built to staggering heights, between 115 and 492 feet tall. Number 2. Yellowstone We've all heard of Yellowstone, and most of us know that it's been a hot spot, literally, for volcanic activity for a very long time. You've also probably been told that if the volcanism in the area were to graduate into another full-blown eruption, it would be cataclysmic. But just how bad were eruptions here in the past? It last had a full-blown eruption some 640,000 years ago, which ejected an enormous 250 cubic miles worth of material into the atmosphere. But it wasn't the first of its kind. Yellowstone also erupted 2.1 million years ago, which formed the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff and the 50 by 40 mile island par caldera. It erupted again 1.3 million years ago in what was called the Mesa Falls eruption. The massive eruption, 640,000 years past, was named the Lava Creek eruption. And if you're getting the pattern, you'll know it created the Lava Creek Tuff and left behind Yellowstone Caldera, which measures 34 by 45 miles. The eruption itself was roughly 1,000 times more powerful than Mount St. Helens. We've seen some pretty intense volcanoes so far, and we've still got one more to go. But first, we'd like to ask, do you live near any active volcanoes? If so, what have you done to ensure that you won't get caught up and become a statistic the next time your nearby destructive neighbor decides to lose its cool? Let us know in the comments below. Number one, Deccan Traps. This large igneous province is found in West Central India on the Deccan Plateau, and there are some of the biggest volcanic features on the face of the planet and they were formed in a series of truly incomprehensible and destructive eruptions that took place between 63 and 67 million years ago. The Deccan Traps first began to form near the end of the Cretaceous period, some 66.25 million years ago, and it was at the Western Ghats that most of the eruptions took place. When the lava beds were forming, various volcanic gases were released, 
Particularly harmful was the sulfur dioxide, which is thought to have played a part in climate change at the time. In the period of their formation, science tells us that the average drop in temperature around the world was about 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, enough of a drop to cause mass extinctions, which is why many believe the eruptions may have had a hand in the ending of dinosaurs. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos from us, subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell notification.